Sorry guys, I don't know what happened. My video shut off for some reason, so you just gotta bear with me with this technology. Um, so I was in the process of showing you how to find the LCM. If you will look at this, we figured out what they had in common. And then remember with LCM, we have to take the biggest one. So two to the fifth power is bigger. I come over here to three to the fourth and three squared. 3 to the 4th is bigger. And then remember for LCM I have to multiply everything else that is not in common. So in order to find the LCM is I would multiply 2 to the 5th times 3 to the 4th times 7, which gives me one or 18,144. Okay? Try some of these if you have questions. Um, you know, please feel free to let me know. Please feel free to ask. So I told you I was going to do some, um, give you some algebra, give you some variables in this. So we've got to look at some different problems that have those variables. What happens if I have a variable and it asks me to give the LCM or the GCF of those variables. So let's say that I have, um, let's say that I have x to the 7th, y to the 8th, z to the 5th, and I have x to the 4th, y to the 12th, and w. And it says to find the GCF and the LCM of these two numbers, for lack of a better term, these two algebraic expressions. We know how to do this because we're going to use the same technique that we've been using with actual integers, with actual numbers. So I'm going to look at what they have in common to find the GCF, what do they have in common? They have x to the 7th and x to the 4th, and they have the base y in common. This one has a z, this one has a w, that's not in common. All right, now if you remember when we are doing this, we've got to look at how many they have in common here. This one has 7, this one has 4. So they really only have 4 in common. So x to the 4th. y to the 8th, y to the 12th. How many y's do they have in common? They have 8 in common. So the GCF of this would be x to the 4th, y to the 8th. Remember, greatest common factor, we're only looking at what they have in common. Now, if I want to find the LCM of, that, of these two algebraic expressions, I'm going to go back to what they have in common. And I can circle it here that way since we're on LCM. And we're going to look at what they have in common. And now we're going to pull out the biggest one. So which one's bigger? x to the 7th or x to the 4th? That would be x to the 7th. y to the 8th, y to the 12th. Which one's bigger? y to the 12th. And remember, I also have to list everything else that it is not, that does not, that they do not have in common. So I'm going to list the z to the fifth and the w. Okay. Guys, once again, try them. If you have trouble, come back and rewatch the video. Maybe something will click the second time you watch it. All right. Just if you have any trouble, make sure you are reaching out to me so that I can help you. 